Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Just returned from the trip and ready to make this very short update on Bitcoin, uh, but still very informative, I hope. So what is happening now is that, as we expected, as I was continuing to, to tell you guys over the last uh, few videos and actually quite a long time um, ago, that we are continuing to fall and so we broke this triangle just just exactly as we were uh, expecting we we've uh, touched this um, level at 3600 we hovered around this for a while and then we broke it down and now we are piercing we actually we already pierced this this level of the stops which i pointed out i don't know a few weeks ago maybe two weeks ago or something like that uh, and then we are continuing to um, sort of correlate, not a correlate, the, the, uh, the well, staying in, in b below this zone, uh, just correcting um, the, this huge, huge drop. And this, the, the thing is, again, if we look at the volume at the at this uh, drop, you would not see any kind of the fight which you would expect to have at the bottom or the reversal point it doesn't jump from that like five hundred dollars up whatsoever first and and it doesn't um, have any kind of uh, volatility at the very bottom uh, point so this is the second thing if, if the volume is much lower than than here it's basically the only the stops which again were um, concentrated in this area so uh, and also you can see this this like how it increases the the slope of the drop around here so it basically the inertia is really really uh, really really strong right now and what would ha may happen is that uh, we may see very similar situation to this one when we had basically free fall uh, for um, like like one thousand five hundred dollars and then after that we finally saw um, like a very huge volume and we were stopped at this point for a while and although here we didn't go up from that but if here at, at, at for example the area below three thousand dollars we will see the similar picture when we had this huge huge drop to this to this point maybe even lower below that and we'll see the volume even higher than than this one and also at the same time we will not see the uh, correction like the uh, sideways trading but we will see the uh, jump from like bounce from that bo bo bottom level then we'll s that would mean that we have the buyers finally for this uh, zone or whatever zone that it will stop at and that probably when the people start to buy and through it like the forming whatever you call it and the algorithms the bots will also um, uh, take some part in, in this process so again um, almost for, I, I almost sure that we will not go up from here or not we'll go up like for um, long term yeah well short sure, sh sorry uh, in the uh, medium term we will not go up probably if we will just correct this drop for a little bit but then eventually we will go down to the new new low or or we may uh trade sideways and then still eventually go down or, or up and down something else but still the bottom is not set this is my opinion not financial advice please make your decision on, on your own uh, also that we need to remember the fact that the weekly 200 weekly moving average is around here so it's three thousand one hundred dollars and this is why i would expect that this will be the sort of the borderline for a lot of the traders out there and when we they will see that it's pinned down then they start to accumulate and probably it will be pierced uh, a bit a little bit so i don't think that it will bounce exactly from that level i think that will bounce from the maybe $500 below that, which is like this this area. So just let's look at the volume. Let's look how to um, react to this, those zones. 
So we'll see. Although actually the decrease of, of this volume is a very bad sign. I think that if the, the lower we, will, we go, the stronger the bulls should be and we'll just see the um, complete capitulation. Finally, what I must say is that uh, th like comparing to February when we had this um, V-shape reversal of the price, we might see this again. But since there is no um, virus right now, this is the, the same amount of buyers who are ready to buy and hold, right, uh, as it was in February, what would happen now is that the whales or whatever they call them, manipulators who are driving, pushing the price down, they will make it to the level they want. And as soon as they will have the price which they were happy with, with they will not make it um, like the jump from that point artificially and what they will do is that they keep this price as long as uh, uh, low as as um, long as they want as they as they need in order to first load their bags in these levels and second uh, make the um, have time enough time to manage the deals on the OTC market because uh, this is the major source of their um, accumulation and technically technically uh, from 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 that that standpoint we may stay here for I don't know a couple of weeks and then that would be the bottom and after that we may start to have a slow uh, growth and this is the second scenario which I see uh, possible so uh, that is it for the technical thing and the official excuse for this drop is this one uh, SEC again delays decision on VANEC Solid X Bitcoin ETF and this is actually a great thing guys why it is great because they didn't do that well first they didn't uh, reject it for, for the first place right in the first place and the second thing they didn't do that they didn't postpone this decision um, at the end of December when the market is really thin and when we could have the uh, real real like strong drop in the price although it, it, it eventually will end up in a better uh, situation but it, it's like momentarily it will be very bloody and painful so it's really nice uh, that we have it right now and we have the time to slowly go lower and buy and accumulate as well as the whales and finally go up from that uh, don't forget that uh, it, that that will be the, the final decision. I hope it will be the final one because it's sort of a, it should be <laughs> according to the rules. They may change the rules, for example, and then like postpone it once again, which would be completely ridiculous. But also indicate that uh, it's not the um, because they will probably decline, uh, reject it, but probably because they want to uh, have more, just more time and, and um, play with your, your your nerves a little bit more. Anyway, to, to make the market prepared, for example, it's if you put it more um, logical in more logical terms, reasonable terms. So, uh, but anyway, they even even they if they will keep it until February twenty seventh, which they may actually not do and, and announce it earlier like whatever in January what whenever they they will be ready but even if they will do it in the end of February then uh, you see there is already uh, backed there and also there is the uh, fidelity somewhere around the first uh, quarter of 2019 so a lot of things are aligned in the one uh, time zone and that would make uh, the explosion in a better better sense in a good sense for the price so as soon as we will fall lower and lower and lower until maybe the end of January or something like that and then they will be backed and people will start to buy on this and it might like, jump $1,000 from that point and then positive ETF $5,000 plus whatever new all-time high in spring well, you, you can put your imagination um, yeah, so I think I, I think really possible uh, that we will see some something really bullish um, in terms of those news and, and uh, in the beginning of 2019. 
Uh, second thing is what I was going to say about the news is that you can see here that we have Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV. Actually, they were um, in a different positions uh, before. Namely, Bitcoin Cash was below Bitcoin SV. And actually, if you look at the price during the week, it was Bitcoin Cash is in complete fall. Uh, decrease and decline and announce number six and less than two billion capital, uh, capitalization and Bitcoin SV is actually made a bit better and now it's correcting its growth. The thing is that there are a few um, um, sort of dim, um, bad news for for BCH and first is that Bitmain leaks shows disastrous Q3 results and since it's a lot of the uh, connection between Bitmain and Bitcoin Cash uh, they have this effect on BCH and basically we have a lot of the people who are from who, who were holding BCH they're switching to another and miners as well uh, another ver variation of BCH which is BCH SV and the second thing is that um, here, United Carp filed suit against Bitmain, Roger Ver, Kraken, and other o uh, others over alleged manipulation uh, during Bitcoin Cash hard fork. And uh, this seemed to be really huge, although I don't, I didn't see this to be covered um, that much in the media. So idea, idea is that um, is, is basically the the most <coughs> harm. The, the biggest harm from from that is that the reputation. I don't know how it will be end up, but the reputation of the Bitmain and Roger Ver and and uh, the whole Bitcoin Cash company is um, pretty much damaged from this. And this all results into a lot of the price decline for Bitcoin Cash. We'll see how it will, will, will how it will um work uh, eventually maybe it's just the sell-off you can buy and, and be in profit eventually but i will be very careful with that and both actually bitcoin cash abc whatever you call it in bitcoin cash uh, or bitcoin sv uh, there are other things like cardano for example which is much better in my opinion not a financial advice so not would want to keep you any longer please uh, be careful with your trading uh, I hope that we'll finally see some growth in January, February next year. But so far, um, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like, your comments, subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you tomorrow next update. See you guys. Goodbye.